So this summer, Beretta announced their brand new A300 Ultima. What they did is they came out with a kickoff on it. It's kind of a new style kickoff. They came out with a cheek piece to help felt reduce recoil, and they gave you a bunch of other options. In this video, we're gonna have Steve from Target Focus Life give us a full rundown of the brand new A300 Ultima. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name is Steve, and today I have the Beretta A300 Ultima, brand new shotgun just released a few weeks ago. Now, if you've been watching my shotgun reviews, you may have seen the one I did on the Breda A300 Outlander, which is promised to be the best value in semi-auto shotguns. Tough, reliable, light, all sorts of great things. But in that review, I had a few issues I didn't like about it. Now, first glance at this Ultima, I think they fixed a lot of things I didn't like about the Outlander. It's at the same MSRP, so I'm really excited about this review. First off, the MSRP is $7.99, but I was able to find it at my favorite sporting good retailer, Reed's, for $7.49. They have them in stock, just got them in, and this is one of the first ones they shipped out. We're going to get kicked off with looking at the specs of this shotgun. First, it is a 12-gauge shotgun, 3-inch chamber, no option for 3.5 inch, but they do make it available in a 20 gauge as well, so that's pretty cool. Just like a lot of the Brettas, the Ultima is a gas-operated shotgun. The weight of this shotgun is 7 pounds, 10 ounces. The length of pull of this shotgun out of the box, distance from the trigger to the butt end, is 14 and a quarter inches. Now, there is spacers that come with it in the box, so you can extend the length of pull, making it a little bit longer. The Ultima runs the mobile choke system, Comes with three chokes, improved cylinder modified in full. I've already switched it out for my Carlson's extended choke cylinder. I like those nice big patterns because we're going to be shooting clays relatively close. You can see them well on video. As part of the specs, I like to look at trigger pull. Not only how does it feel when you squeeze it. Got to have it on fire. There's a little bit of travel there, a little spongy on the trigger. It breaks nice. Let's put a trigger scale on this and see what it comes out as far as weight. We're getting a trigger pull averaging five pounds, 2.7 ounces. It's fairly light trigger pull for a shotgun, which I definitely enjoy. Um, not my favorite trigger, but I like that it's light. That's a cool thing. Now let's jump into the ergonomics of the Ultima. Taking a look at this gun, I believe it's highly improved from the Outlander. One of the big things I did not like about the Outlander was the controls. They did not have an oversized bolt handle. The bolt release was sort of hard to push. That was my probably my biggest gripe about the Outlander. Well, they've added a bolt release that is super simple, just with a tap of a finger, easy to close. So already I can see that I like this shotgun so much better than the Outlander. And now that it's at the same price point as the Outlander, I'm guessing that shotgun is kind of going to be pushed out. This gun's gonna totally replace it. So other things looking at ergonomics is the look, the feel. Um, it feels pretty decent. The grip, pistol grip, is a little bit thicker than what I generally like. The forearm is pretty standard. It uh, is just, it's straight. I like when there's some grooves to really get my hands into, get a good grip. It has fairly decent texture here, but I have a feeling with this hard plastic, that as your hands get sweaty, it's kind of hot today, my hands are going to get sweaty, it's going to have some slip in it. And so, uh, for that reason, I'm not the hugest fan of the forend or the pistol grip, the texture, but as far as just mounting this gun up, it feels pretty good in the hands. It mounts pretty nice, I don't mind the balance. It's maybe just a little bit short for me out of the box, but I could Put a spacer in there that comes standard. Another really cool thing about this Ultima versus the Outlander is they include the kickoff recoil reduction system, which is a hydraulic dampening system that is supposed to help reduce recoil, supposed to make it lighter shooting. Now, when you do shoot this gun, you feel it. You feel like a pulse. It's like, it's hard to explain, but you feel the impulse. It's, it's kind of like in two steps. We'll see how fast I can shoot it, if that it causes me any issues when I do the speed shooting at the end of this video, see how fast I can shoot three clays. My preliminary feeling is that it's going to be a fast gun, lighter recoiling gun, so I'm pretty excited about it. Great recoil pad. It has a softer pad. It's not extremely soft, but more of a rubber pad on the comb. I definitely like that. The Ultima also has a large fiber optic sight on front and a mid bead. 
One other thing Beretta did on this Ultima that I absolutely love is they milled out the loading port here, making it nice and easy to slap shells in there, no sharp edges. I think that should be standard on most semi-auto shotguns above $700. So I absolutely love that. Trigger guards may be just a little bit small for me. I like oversized trigger guards. That way if you got gloves, it's no issues getting in there and not accidentally pulling the trigger. But other than that, this Ultima is a great looking gun. Feels pretty good in the hands. Controls are awesome. I'm excited to shoot this thing. Real quickly, other variations of this shotgun, like I mentioned, it's available in 12 or 20 gauge, only three inch models. 28 inch barrels. There's three different color options, either the black synthetic like I have here, or there's two different camo options. One is a Max 5 and one is a Bottomland. Okay, we've come to the point where I'm gonna check out recoil and reliability. This is an ex See how easy that bolt release is to push? We're gonna check out recoil and reliability. I'm excited to test this, I'm gonna be seeing how well it cycles, as well as what does the recoil feel like? So I'll just do a few test shots here. Safety first, gotta put on the ESS ballistic glasses. That recoil pad, that kickoff system feels a little bit strange. You feel the like two stage pulse into your shoulder, but into the shoulder didn't have a lot of recoil. I did notice a little more muzzle jump than I would typically expect out of a shotgun like this, but let's try a few more this time faster. That actually felt really nice. I'm excited to see how fast I can shoot this shotgun. Recoil feels pretty decent. I'm not gonna complain about the recoil I'm getting in the shoulder. I may be feeling it slightly more in the face than I would expect. I think anyone shooting this will get used to that kind of two-stage recoil pulse into their shoulder. All right, target focus lifers. Now is the time to test speed. How fast can I shoot this shotgun getting on three targets with individual shots for this speed test, I'm using the Federal Top Gun ounce and an eighth, eight shot. Got my cylinder choke tube on there from Carlson's. Woo! We got to look at the footage. Was that individual hits? That's a one, one, two. That is fast, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out the footage. Upon further review, that was absolutely clean. This is one of my fastest times ever with a semi-auto shotgun. Super impressed with how fast this gun shoots, how quick I'm able to get back on target. Love it. So in summary, looking at the Beretta A300 Ultima, first of all, I gotta say it kicks the pants off the Outlander. And I don't think you're gonna see the Outlander too much longer because this is gonna replace it. So much better shotgun at the same price point. I love that Beretta added the kickoff system helps with recoil, feels a little funny at first, but man, was I able to shoot it fast. I absolutely love shooting fast. So I think Beretta did a great job on that. It was easy to recover from the recoil. It's balanced well. The controls are so much better. It has great controls. Few things that I didn't really love. I don't love the texture, the hard plastic forend or stock, the safety at the front of the trigger guard, the large bead, not my favorite. But at the price point, this very well may be the best value auto-loading shotgun on the market. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think of this gun. Maybe you'd like to see me compare this gun to another shotgun around that seven, eight, nine hundred dollar mark. What do you think? Put it in the comments below. Shotgun Showdown, what would you like to see? So we've got another video about this one as well. We'll have a link to that in the description. It's with me and Eric from Ducks Unlimited. We go through the whole rundown. Eric actually helped design the Altima. It's a really cool video, so check that one out. Um, but this is just a nice option for under a thousand bucks, under 800 bucks even. You get a great light shooting shotgun. So, so check this one out. Uh, links are in the description. If you'd like more information about one, if you'd like to pick one up. Also, links in the description uh, for the 50th anniversary Reads calendar giveaway. We're giving away awesome prizes every month. We got weekly deals going on, so check our website for that, readsports.com. You'll be able to get signed up at the end of the year, May of 2022. We're giving away a Polaris ranger with tracks and a trailer how awesome is that we're, we're all pumped about it hope you are too uh, you'll be able to share with your friends to get even more signups and uh, you know if you like this video if you enjoy the content that we're putting out we'd love it if you'd subscribe and be sure to like this one